Welcome back everyone. This is case number 32 of MSK series. Today's patient is 50 year old female patient presented with progressively enlarged lump at the right hip joint. For 3 years duration. Actually it's a painless one. Painless lump. So this is the anteroposterior radiograph of the right hip joint including the right upper femur in a scatery mature patient. So you can see the abnormality. It's a large mass. It's a large mass with lobulated outline, multi lobulated. Multi lobulated large mass in the region of right hip joint and the density is uh, more than the bone so it's more like the calcified densities calcified densities and there are some levels in the densities we call it uh, fluid calcium levels or milk of calcium and uh, underlying bone is apparently normal no obvious pathology cortex is intact hip joint it's uh, relatively unremarkable no obvious fractures and uh, visualize hip bone right hip bone is normal and so you can't see a periosteal reaction in this region so it's a calcified soft tissue mass in the region of right hip joint that's an incidental finding of uh, probably calcified fibroid this region also they are probably left hip joint is also affected by the same condition probably it's a bilateral one so the in, in this case diagnosis is tumoral calcinosis differential diagnosis uh, myositis ossificans Then uh, we can get another differential uh, diagnosis of uh, CPPD calcium pyrophosphate deposition disease. And the uh, can get a synovial sarcoma. These are few differential diagnosis and uh, if it's if the bone is affected we can get chondrosarcoma so these are calcified densities tumor calcinosis is due to uh, metabolic inherited metabolic disorder uh, due to uh, phosphate metabolism there's hyperphosphatemia increase phosphate level and the position of phosphate and they commonly occur can be seen at the joints mainly hip joint then the elbow shoulder these are the joints which are commonly affected and uh, the unique feature in the CT or it can be seen in the x-ray milk calcium milk of calcium or fluid calcium levels so in 
tumoral calcinosis usually underlying bone is normal such so soft calcified soft tissue mass can be seen so that concludes case number 32 of our msk series please subscribe our youtube channel there mean you will get notifications of our newly uploaded videos and you can comment on our videos also thank you